Hi, and welcome to an introduction to Prep and Position. In this video, we will cover imposition of a business card, along with crop marks and bleed. And then we will create a preset in a hot folder to apply the same settings automatically. First, I have to create a new job, browse out to my business card file. Once my business card opens, I normally like to change the view to fit with so that I can see everything on the page. On the right hand side, I have a multiple set of tools. I'm going to select my imposition and you'll note that my sidebar tools slide out and now I have all of my imposition tools available. I'm going to select Gang Up. This business card is going to be placed on a 12 by 18 business card stock. It's also a duplex job. So I'm going to go to my printing sides and select both sides to print on. I could change the orientation if I like, so you'll notice that I could change it to portrait. I can also change the scaling of the card, so I could reduce or scale to fit. I can change the uh, finishing size as well, so that if I set it to manual, I could put in my own size, and I can constrain proportions or not by unlocking or leaving the lock icon set. I have a bleed on this card, so I'm going to add it here. I'm also going to repeat up on the page. Notice I could do a unique gang up and also speed, but I'm going to select repeat. I'm going to set up five rows and five columns on my 12 by 18 card stock. There is a scroll bar on the side of the toolbar here, and if you scroll down, you'll see that you get a number of other features that are available. We could change the orientation to head to foot or head to head. Uh, notice a number of other combinations depending on how easy or how difficult it may be to cut the cards. I can add gutters. I can move the placement of the image actually in the cell and then also the image alignment on the page itself. I'm going to turn on the crop marks we have available the Roman crop marks, which are single line crops, and then we also have the Japanese crop marks, which are double line crops available. For the crop marks, I have full control over the thickness of them, the vertical horizontal length, and also which side of the page they print on. I have control over the image shift. If the cards are not lining up or registering front to back, I can mirror the image front to back or I can move side to side individually. I also have a binding margin. Once I have my business cards configured the way I like, I'm going to set up a preset in a hot folder that's gonna automatically apply these settings when I bring files in. So I go to my apply presets and create a preset, and I'm just gonna call this business cards. I can add a description if I like. And I'm going to browse out to either create or allocate a hot folder. I've already created a folder called Prep Hot Folders, and I created a folder called Business Cards within, within that folder. Notice in the bottom left hand corner here, you can make a folder at the end of that path as you're browsing if you like. Once I've created my hot folder, I can now allow it to utilize an incoming JDF or RJF job file. I'm going to select print because I'd like it to print to the printer that is allocated to this particular preset after it's processed. I could also save it out as a print job if I like. I could save it out as an RGF file, which would be a RICO job file. It would allow me to edit it in prep, also save it out as a print file for future printing, and I can also save it out as a JDF file. Notice I can add a prefix and I can also password protect it. If I wanted to save it out as a PDF as well, I have control over the data compression, the prefix, and I can password protect it. I could select all three of these, and once the file was processed, I would have a job that was printed on 12 by 18 on the 7110. I would have a print job that was saved out with all the job ticketing, and I would also have a PDF saved out that would look exactly like you see on the screen with the crop marks in the imposition. I'm going to save my preset, and you'll notice that once I save my preset, I have a preset 
in my drop down menu called business cards. So now I can apply this to any files that I bring into prep and it will automatically apply the imposition and the crop marks on 12 by 18. I also have a hot folder on my C drive that I can drop files into, which will also apply these same settings. So thanks for spending some time with me. This was Introduction to Prep Imposition and Business Cards. Music